Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a collaboration video with Rapunzel and today we're not going to do a wrapping tutorial, we're going to do a like a vlog kind of a video with my own scarf collection which includes my own personal collection and also my collaboration Rapunzel collection which you will see at the later part of the video, okay? But before we go in, I just want to uh, tell you that I'm wearing the Uberpoof today, which is you know, it is sort of strange when you're used to wearing the Wendy, the Wendy shaper and it's always like pointing up and then the Uber Poof, when you're wearing it downwards instead of upwards, it sort of, it creates a whole different look, but I think it is very, very charming. So I'm just wearing a very simple wrap over the Uber Poof today, which is the Stellar Scarf in red in a simple side ruffle wrap. And if you're interested in a tutorial for that, that is also on my channel. You can just go down my, my wrapping tutorials and you'll find it there. So yeah, so that is the side ruffle wrap with the stellar, stellar scarf and I think because of the upper poof being so big <laughs> and voluminous uh, I think a very simple wrap looks so so good on the upper poof as well as everything else anyway so that is that and before we actually go on a tour through my house or through the different rooms where my scarves are because it's not just one place I have to say that um, I was deciding or trying to find out how am I going to do this. So you will notice that maybe the format of the filming will be different because I'm going to use my phone to do this and not my YouTube camera because I do not want to change the settings from my studio here to um, to all those different rooms with the different lights and everything. So I'm going to film with my, my telephone so there will be different audio, the, the format might be different, the, of course the video quality is going to be different just so you know and I'm also not experienced in doing walking around videos like this so it is what it is <laughs> and we're just gonna have to roll with that plus my kids are gonna be in the background because I'm filming this in the morning while they are awake because I cannot film this during the night it's just the lighting is not uh, good at night so obviously I cannot do that at night so you're gonna hear them probably in the background um, so that is that plus there is one more thing that I wanted to mention and I was thinking what am I going to do? Am I going to sort my scarves now? Am I going to do it like super super special and nice in order to show you everything and whatever and impress you? And then I decided no. Uh, Leora you're not going to do that because first of all it's not real. Uh, because I think everybody knows that a scarf collection is not like everything is neatly stacked on top of each other. That That's not how it works. That's not real life. And if I were to do that, of course I could do that and film it like that and make you believe that this is how it is. But it's not. And I think it would make everybody feel bad who is normal, right? So I'm not a messy person, uh, but my scarves do not lie neatly on top of each other, sorted according to colors or like you know, things like this. Um, I just wanted to show you the real life, how it is with me. And, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, <laughs> take it or leave it, whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. And then at the end of the video or the second part of the video, I'm going to come back here because this is actually here where I store all my Rapunzel items or most of them because some shapers I also have with the rest of my uh, collection. Anyway, so we're going to come here and I'm going to show you a few things here and how I'm storing my Rapunzel things because that is actually completely different from my own private collection. And I'm going to tell you in the video later why that is. All right. And then I'm going to come back here and say goodbye to you after that. Okay. So let's go right into it. It's so exciting. And I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> okay. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, my friends, so here we are. This is a bathroom and um, I'm filming a little bit against the light here. So it is a little bit difficult, I think, to pick up the colors of the scarf. So this is basically a, a shelf that we got from someone who decluttered it. It's not very deep and it is standing here on the windowsill together with another one which has just bathroom items. And um, we have a house that is uh, built in the Bauhaus style, which has like a lot of round edges sort of which is super unpractical but uh, yeah so this is how we try to make most of all this lost space so this is this and um, here I have basically a lot of my uh, unicolor uh, scarves these are all uh, long long scarves like turban scarves all of them basically and 
yeah it's not sorted as you can see it's not super tidy as you can see and yeah basically i'm um, storing most of my uni color ones here which is not a lot most of what i have is colorful or has patterns or something the only ones that are sort of a little bit patterned are the ones that you can see here like with stripes or something but they are still monochromatic i don't know if it picks it up because of the lighting issue but um and if there is another pattern like for example the um, the dots here this is still like a monochromatic scarf that which i consider monochromatic more or less and then there are some that are a uh, unicolor here that just have like um um how do you say that embroidered flowers on it or something but basically i consider them monochromatic so this is my monochromatic collection of like normal turban scarves so now we are out in the hallway and you probably can hear my kids in the background. So this is <laughs> this is a, um, a stand that we bought in Ikea and this is how it looks. And these, all of these here are my square tichels. My whole collection that I'm basically unfortunately not using at all anymore. And this is also because like, it's sorted so nicely because I'm not using it basically. <laughs> Yeah, and I've been thinking about donating all of them um, to a hospital or like a cancer care center or something. I just, I just cannot make myself do it quite yet because there are so many memories attached to all of this that um, uh, I don't know. It's it's a little bit hard for me. So here around the corner, I have a few pieces of lace that I sometimes um, also like braid in or something. And then uh, pins and flowers and all of these kinds of things. And then we're still in the hallway. Please don't judge me. <laughs> so uh, please be aware of when you see my tickles and also my jewelry that for the longest time, for a long, 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 long time, this is all I could buy because I couldn't fit in anything else because I was so terribly fat. So uh, back then it was just a different life. So plus I've been in modeling and I just needed or also got quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, so um, this is the next side and I just want to open this so I have here two drawers with um, I'm gonna just try to open one so you see what I'm talking about these are um, long scarves but uh, not as wide as you can see okay they're more like sashes I guess but they have the whole length of of normal scarves and these I have here. I don't really use them either so much anymore, honestly. So that's why they're tucked here. And maybe that's also the reason why I'm not using them so much because I don't really see them in my normal life. You know, I always have to remind myself that they're there. So that's not the smartest thing, but I just don't have the space to have everything, you know, lying outside. And then we're just gonna keep on going. And here is another stand from Ikea which is this one. And here I have more turban scarves that, and this is all what you've seen so far. This is all my summer collection. Okay. Um, these are more turban scarves, but uh, most of them or basically all of them are super patterned or, you know, super uh, like different colors and things like this. And then up here in that basket, I have a few shapers. Some of them are Rapunzel. Some of them are my from my old life, sort of my pre-Rapunzel life. But up there, basically, I keep everything that I have to keep out of the reach of my kids. Okay, now we're in the guest room. And this is basically behind the door, hanging from like behind the door of the guest room. And these are all my turban scarves that are very thin and that, that are not difficult. <laughs> I don't consider them difficult because they don't um, how do you say that they don't get crinkly and and ruined by just bunching them up and these these are these kinds of wait how, how can I show you what that is you all probably know these kinds of <laughs> I can't find it um, these kinds of things like these loopy things where you just like, drag them through so uh, this is what I'm using here I think I also bought that in Ikea which is basically where we buy most of our things. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically two of these hangers uh, sort of over each other, like this. And of those, I, I really use them actually a lot because they are super comfortable and also super lightweight. And then right next to that, 
is my winter collection. These are my pashminas. And I'm sure, honestly, that a lot of you have way more than I have. <laughs> okay, so that is, uh, that's my winter pashminas. And I actually used to, at some point, work in a store where they had very, very beautiful pashminas. And I got a discount there because of working there. So that's... You know, that's why I have so many. And because I like pashminas, I actually, I'm looking very much forward to the winter so I can wear pashminas again, especially the tapestry scarf. <laughs> if you don't know the tapestry scarf, then please, please go and check that out on the Rapunzel website because that is such a beautiful, beautiful pashmina. Okay, now we are in my studio and this is my Rapunzel collection and this might be so weird that you see it like this, but I'm going to explain to you in a second. I have to have my Rapunzel collection here where I'm actually filming. This is my filming setup right here. I'm just going to swing over. You can see a little bit where it all always happens, everything with my backdrop and my flowers that you all know. <laughs> all right, so uh, down here I have a few pins and bobby pins and uh, those little rubber bands that I can keep using. And then, and then this is my Rapunzel collection. So this is basically everything besides the Wendy shaper I think I have upstairs right now in that basket that I showed you. And uh, my other shapers I have here. And and this is basically how I store it because when I'm putting together my tutorials and matching it with my makeup and, you know, all of this, I need to have all of it together to sit here and to compare it, to see it in the lighting that I'm using it then when I'm filming. Okay, so and then... As you know, I'm not the greatest at names and, and things like this, remembering names of wraps or names of the scarves. And while the names of the Rapunzel scarves are super, super beautiful, it is a very big challenge for me to remember so many. Okay, so first of all, because I've just mentioned this one upstairs when I showed you my pashminas, this is the tapestry scarf. So I label everything and keep everything in separate bags. So when I pull it out, according to the color, I immediately see, what am I using and then I can write it down on my filming uh, log log <laughs> how everyone says that um, in order to then know what to include in the description box of the video okay so for example this one is that beautiful tapestry scarf that I mentioned because I cannot wait for it to get wait <laughs> to get cooler so I can wear this again look at this now the lighting here is not the best because uh, my light is obviously at my at my filming setup but isn't that beautiful okay so i basically have everything in here here i have more or less the two in ones um the single color ones which i then match up with other ones that you can see there is the um what's it called the ruffled wave sash for example sari scarves here is a uh, new york brights in green which is super beautiful yeah the dreams come true scarf Israeli tichel that I used the other day and what do we have here let's fold it up one second this is the extra long t-shirt scarf in purple which is a super beautiful plum color if that comes across what else do I like the cranberry of course also waiting for the winter <laughs> yeah so I keep basically all my Rapunzel things here so I have them here, as I explained to you, because I just really need it to all be in the same lighting that I'm using for filming. So here I have um, these smaller shapers. And then I have a little bit more uh, scarves here, just as an overflow from the other basket, sort of, because I cannot have them on top of each other. I always need to see what I have. Otherwise, they don't get used, as you, as you saw in my collection, in my private collection upstairs. And then I have this little basket here where I have the uh, Rapunzel accessories. There's the non-slip headband, of course, which belongs to the shaper here. Okay, and then I have, you know, the Tiger Lily clip, the Infinity Clasp. What else do I have? The Gatsby Bandeau headband that we featured in the last wrapping tutorial. What else do we have? Crystal clear headband. Ah, it's out of stock. Okay, so you see here that I even wrote it's out of stock. I have actually not checked if it's maybe back in stock, but this I think is definitely still available. I'm pretty sure. This is the... Ugh, it all gets crinkled up. Wait. 
This is the Vintage Beauty Headband. I think I saw this recently on the website. Or maybe it was this. I'm not sure. <laughs> If you're interested, just go and look under the accessories, then you'll you'll see what is available right now. But the Gatsby is totally available because I just worked with that last week. Okay, my loves, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is like a whole new concept for me. I hope this is going to come together and um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when I'm editing this. I hope it's going to be good. Please let me know what your feelings are about this kind of a video and if that was helpful for you and what you think about it or whatever you want to share, please feel free to do so in the comment section if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and you find um what i'm wearing today the Oberpoof and the stellar scarf of course in the description box down below together with all the information about rapunzel about myself and everything you need to know and i'm gonna see you here probably tomorrow quite quite probably tomorrow in my next video and um i can't wait <laughs> okay so up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye